at Blue Jay Farms, we're gonna start a corporation. So that's pretty much just a group of people running as a single entity. So we all have equal parts in the farm. We just run different things. As for the risk side of things, we have a number of things in line for that. For our business decisions, we're gonna make them as a whole, not just as a single person, so everybody understands what's going on and what the process should be. And uh, that'll just help everyone have input so we get the best decisions we can. And uh, for other risk precautions that we're gonna be taking, we have multiple insurances in place. We're gonna have a building insurance, which will be through uh, DNS insurance, which is located in Warner, Alberta. And uh, for our vehicle insurance, it's gonna be through another company that goes through Aviva Insurance, and the company's called DF Smith & Sons. And uh, that's gonna cost us about $45 a year for all the vehicles we have, which ends up being a monthly cost of $375, which was one of the better rates that we could find. And uh, for crops, probably one of the most important insurances we're gonna have, we're going through AFSC. And we're gonna, for the first year especially, we're just taking out the basic crop insurance, but we'll be adding the hail rider insurance as well, because our area is pretty susceptible to hail. And uh, that'll be costing us for the canola and the uh, lentils, it'll be about 15 bucks an acre. And for the wheat, it'll be roughly nine, which will be a grand total of 2,400 bucks an acre for the, or $24,000 annually. And uh, if any goes, anything goes wrong, like with weather-wise, this will really help eliminate the risk associated with that so we can at least get our input costs back for the year and break even. And then for the livestock side of the operation, we're gonna be also going through FCC for insurance and that's gonna cost us $26.28 a head. Having a hundred head, that means it'll just be $2,628 annually. And uh, this covers accidental death and calf loss so that we will not be losing much money if anything drastic happens to our herd. So, for further precautions at Jaybird Farms, <clears throat> we're gonna make sure that we, uh, we have predetermined contracts on all of our sales uh, and that we make sure they're enough to cover our costs and you know kind of cover ourselves for any damages that we might run into. We're also going to make sure that our, all our crops are fertilized and well maintained uh, meaning they will get the appropriate mixes in each field and that uh, you know we, we do our homework and we figure out the right amount of fertilizer for each field and how we have to tackle each year. Uh, on the livestock side we're going to want to make sure we get proper vaccinations and proper, you know, take care of them. Make sure they uh, they live up to their potential. And for further precautions at Jaybird Farms, we'll be making sure we have predetermined contracts, at the very least, covering our expenses. Uh, these contracts will always have an act of God clause within them, so that if anything happens out of our control, like a tornado or hurricane, you know, flooding stuff like that. We'll be able to opt out of the predetermined amount uh, that would have been decided in the contract and sell it privately or just fill out what we can for the remainder of the year. We will also be making sure that the crops are well, main well maintained, meaning that they will be get the appropriate mixes as well as the appropriate amount of fertilizers in the spring to help us grow a good yielding crop. We will also make sure that the crop receives a proper herbicide and pesticide sprays to ensure that they have no comp uh, or competition and no pest or disease risk that would affect our production and our yield rates. On the livestock side of things, we're going to make sure that we're giving the cattle the proper vaccinations to make sure that the cattle don't get sick and don't keel over and die to reduce the amount of death loss on our farm and keep our costs as low as possible. With all of these precautions and insurances in place, we feel confident that our corporation will be at minimum risk 